Whoa, baby, have we got one for you tonight. Good evening once again. I am Stephanie Rule, and you know we are beginning with the chaos on Capitol Hill today, brought on by the House vote to remove Kevin McCarthy as speaker. Keep in mind, this is the first time in our nation's history that a speaker has been voted out of office. I don't regret standing up for choosing governing over grievance. It is my responsibility. It is my job. I do not regret negotiating. Our government is designed to find compromise. I believe I can continue to fight, maybe in a different manner. The California Republican had only been on the job for nine difficult months. This afternoon, members from both parties voted to strip him of the gavel. The yeas are 216. The nays are 210. The resolution is adopted. Without objection, the motion to reconsider is laid on the table. We get more now from NBC's Garrett Hake on Capitol Hill. Tonight, after an historic vote in the U.S. House, now former Speaker Kevin McCarthy returning to an office that is no longer his. The office of Speaker of the House of the United States House of Representatives is hereby declared vacant. Acting on a motion by Florida Republican Matt Gates, eight Republicans joining with Democrats in voting to vacate the position of Speaker for the first time ever, following an impassioned floor debate. It's disgusting. It's what's disgusting about Washington. It's selfish, bad for conservative policies, and bad for America. That's why I strongly support Speaker Kevin McCarthy. There's nothing selfish about wanting a Speaker of the House who tells the truth. North Carolina Republican Patrick McHenry taking over as temporary Speaker. The chair declares the House in recess subject to the call of the chair. Gates declaring victory. It's the benefit of this country that we have a better Speaker of the House than Kevin McCarthy. Kevin McCarthy couldn't keep his word. While McCarthy's allies heaped scorn on the Republican rebels for dividing the party. Matt Gates wants to wreak havoc and chaos within the Republican Party, uh, and he's doing just that. And unfortunately, uh, the American people are uh, pawns in his narcissistic game of charades. The seed for Gates' challenge to McCarthy was planted in January, when the Florida firebrand was the last Republican holdout to oppose making McCarthy speaker, eventually switching his vote to present on the 15th ballot. After McCarthy worked with Democrats to temporarily delay a government shutdown this weekend, Gates vowed to try to remove him, with McCarthy saying today... I think Matt has planned this all along. It didn't matter what we transpired. Projecting confidence even as he arrived for the vote. Look, I'm an optimist because I think there's no point of being anything else. The narrowly divided House left Democrats an opening. Would they intervene to save a leader many despise? That just nobody trusts Kevin McCarthy. Nobody trusts Kevin McCarthy. Nobody trusts Kevin McCarthy, and why should we? After a two-hour meeting, the Democratic leader announcing they'd stay out of the GOP civil war, but vote against McCarthy. McCarthy says he will not run again for Speaker. The House is now in recess. Republicans say they will hold a candidate forum for Speaker next Tuesday and then hold an internal election among Republicans on Wednesday about who they're going to put forward. With